Hey. Hey, we're so open for business. Hey, we're so open for business. Get that cat upstairs. Aww. It's not like anyone's coming in anyway. Plus, someone does come. You can just tell them it's a cat ca cafe. You know that line's not gonna work. Oh, Maruki. Excuse me. Hey. What? What did I tell you? Get that cat out of here. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no, please. Oh no, please. There's no need. I'm sorry. Huh? What is that? It's yeah. This is new. I was told that um, King Kun is lodging at a cafe, and I just happened to be passing by. So. He said mm -hmm. the, the trip. Oh, I said you teach at a school, huh? Not really. I'm just a counselor. It's it's fine by me. I love animals. They don't seem to share the sentiment though. Haha. Uh -huh. True. Mm. The heck's he doing here? Chris is, Chris is off on his little trip. No clue. He's just some alien level stranger to me. Say, you talk with your cat? That's so neat. <laughs> Why is she shy? <laughs> Oh. Sorry, dear friend, you my apology. I just found it, it impressive is all. Sorry about the, the cold shoulder over there. Just, just take the cat upstairs, okay? I'll call you back down when it's all clear. Come on, Futaba, we'll be in the way. In the way. Come on, Futaba, we'll just be in the way down here. Let's go. That book. Oh, this? It's a subject called cognitive science. Any interest? Ooh. What? You're. Sorry, but you need to leave. Don't worry about the bill. Wait, what? Huh? huh? I'm so sorry if there was anything I. The cafe's now closed after I asked you to. So, Gerald. I'm okay. He stays. What's. He stays. What good is driving your free customer away going to do you anyhow? Futaba. <laughs> so, uh, oh yeah, it might bring something up. So, so that book. Is it what you teach? Uh, sir, I mean, mister? Hmm. Huh? Well. Huh, no, not at all. I'm not a teacher. What's it for then? It's just a personal interest of mine. I've been studying it for years now. It's difficult to get to grasp at times, but it's quite useful. Fun to study too. It's fun. Yeah. Well, of course, it's a wonderful division of science that can help many people. That that makes it pretty fun, right? <laughs> hmm. Yep. Mom thought the same exact thing. Mom. Her mother's they studied it too. What I don't get is why you're studying something like that, though. Well, you are a high school counselor, right? I guess it does make sense being related to your field and all. Your mom thought that too, huh? She, she sounds like a wonderful woman. <laughs> Hell yeah, my mom owned. She loved. She loved me so much. <sighs> Past tense. Ah, oh, I see. Right. Well, I'm sure she'd be very proud. All right, let's go. Come on, Mona. Let's go off. Off. To Come on, Mona, let's go off to your mentalist room. Hey, wait! Hey, wait, what? Futaba! Sorry about that, will you care for another? <laughs> Thank you. Your coffee truly is amazing. Huh. Thanks. Man, things sure are changing around here. trip is finally coming to a close. I never uh, thought I would have the chance to go on one well, this year as we well. Didn't, we didn't get to hang out with Kasumi. Barely even felt like I was out of the... <laughs> country, though. Even you were, Yusuke showed up. You were too stressed, Ryuji, that's why. I'm simply glad the storm didn't make its way over here. It may not That's have been good. the most exciting trip, but we still had a good time. Right. Honestly, though, I'm thankful we didn't have to deal with the storm. They truly are dreadful. So, what did you end up doing yesterday? You keeping secrets from me? That's against the bro code. So with someone. Dude, for real? 
Actually, don't say anything. Last thing I need is your secret lover coming out for me with an axe. Uh, she wouldn't do that. She's not Yandale. That's enough, you guys. It felt like this trip went by in a flash. I'm not sure if I want to go home or stay here longer at this point. Hey, why don't we shop for souvenirs together before it's time to go? True. Ooh, count me in. Dad, we didn't see Kasumi. Allow me to join you as well. Although I have no funds for souvenirs. You're going to be able to get back to Japan, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, what this do you is think Morgana and Futaba would like. The traditional souvenir from Hawaii is usually chocolate. Oh, but Morgana can't eat chocolate. True. Well, he tells us that he's not a cat, so maybe it's fine. If we're gonna get him souvenirs, we gotta pick stuff they'll really wig out over. Why don't we split up and look around then? Look, they have coffee with butter in it. Do you think it tastes good? There's acai powder over here. Doesn't it feel like hmm. you could just spend for Say what? Forever at places like these. Yeah, you huh? know what you mean. Tori got a long run with the hate each We've other. Come all the way to Hawaii. I think it'd be best for our gifts to focus on impact rather than taste. That's true. Oh, well said. In that case, let's find something we wouldn't buy ourselves, but we'd be happy to get as a gift. True. I'm not seeing anything. Glasses. I mean, this is Futaba and Morgana we're talking about. Their standards for happiness are way too high. <laughs> Yusuke, you find something? An hourglass that measures three minute increments. <laughs> uh, why? Well, Futaba loves instant yakisoba. It brilliantly meets the requirements of an item I wouldn't buy for myself, but would please me to receive. But can't she just buy one of those in Japan? That's true. Oh crap, we're almost out of time. Okay, Yusuke and I will find Futaba's souvenir and we'll leave Morgana's to you. Something Morgana will like. Like someone's staring at me from behind. Hello. Oh, Kasumi. Senpai. Aloha. You doing okay? I heard some stuff happen. <laughs> That's a much more appropriate greeting. Aloha. Aloha. Huh? Who's that? Find anything suitable? Uh oh. They don't know about what happened. Hmm? That girl. Sorry to be a bother. No, you're I'm fine. Yoshizawa, a first year. It's nice meeting you all. Oh, you're that gymnast. Yes, that's right. Our club is here at a training camp to get ready for the next big meet, and I just happened to find him. Senpai. The last meet was only a short while ago, though. You're already training for the next one? You seem to be making quite the effort. Well, I absolutely have to get the results I'm looking for at the next competition. The team's been training with a famous coach who lives here on the island. She's working us especially hard. We end up in tears almost every day. Oh, don't work too hard. Your dedication to training even when overseas is admirable. We should all learn from your example. True, so true. Yep. Good luck at the next meet. We're all rooting for you. Thank you. Your kind words may be what keeps me from crying today. Hey, uh, to put too much pressure on her. Cry, though. You know what they say? What doesn't thrill you makes you stronger. Ah, I almost forgot we're out of time here. Uh, well, I'm gonna go pay for my stuff. Ooh, I ought to do that too. See you later, Yoshizawa san. <laughs> yes, it was nice meeting you all. Your friends seem like a fun bunch. Yeah, they are. Mm-hmm. I think so too. Try our squad. Well, I know I'm going to win for sure this time. I'll yeah. prove to everyone what I'm made of. Yeah, you can do it. Considering the rank I got last time though, I also got this souvenir as a sort of insurance. 
Is that second place? Good luck charm. I bought it earlier today at this branch of a Japanese shrine here in Hawaii. I always used to buy some kind of charm before a big competition. My sister was even more stringent with her own superstitions. <laughs> the thing is, I forgot to pick one up before the last meet. Oh. I'll be fine now though. I just Maybe that's thought. why. I should probably get going. I almost forgot that I still need to pick up souvenirs for my family. Sorry for keeping you so long. That's fine. I'll see you later. All right. Oh wait. Sorry for keeping you so long. I'll see you later. All right. All right. See you, Kasumi. And we're back to Japan. All right. Here's the scene. Boy, isn't looking so good. <laughs> oh, shit, do it right. Holy fuck. was violent, violent or how many times I see it. Dun, dun. Yo, welcome back. You get tanned a bit? How was Hawaii? Aloha. <gasps> He's been Hawaiianized. Hawaiianized. Uh, I can understand why. While you guys were off having fun, things here have gotten a bit more complicated. True. So I've heard the surprisingly hot items at the moment are masks and calling cards. Here's a graph of the profits for stores handling these items. Double from last year. Phantom Thief goods seem to be in especially high demand. I didn't know they sold that kind of stuff. Should we try to? I mean, selling Phantom Thief merchandise? Yeah, Phantom Thief coffee, Phantom Thief's curry. Maybe I'll toss some dry ice on the side, you know? Give it that phantom -y effect. <laughs> uh, I'm just joking, all right? I wonder how our guests consider this recent phenomenon. What do you think, Akechi Kun? Well, there he is, the anti thief detective. I hope mm -hmm. he slips up and self destructs. <laughs> I can sense some chivalry behind their actions. They are clever to take the silent the resentments of the public into account and relieve them. I believe that may be the secret to their popularity. Well, this is surprising. Your stance seems to have softened. This doesn't change the fact that they are dangerous. However... No, I shouldn't say anymore. Come on, you can say it. Oh no, I won't be falling for that. I learned my lesson after the previous <laughs> fire. These thieves are more popular than the police or politicians. What's the world coming to? Rude! That's what I'm saying now with all this bad stuff. What are you so angry about? Hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Take care of any customers that show up. I 
finished the analysis. You know, of the data. Want to meet now? Sure. Seriously? Jet lag? Why are you sleepy? Then. Tomorrow. What is that? That's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Phantom Thieves Stamp. Isn't it awesome? Who do you think the Phantom Thieves will target next? Wonder. I wonder. I'm really excited to find out. Don't care who it is. Just do it already. Hey, got a minute? Look sleepy. That's your, all your jet lagged. Someone from from Shujin came to LeBlanc yesterday. Someone from me. Well, who? Uh, he had messy hair and glasses. I don't know. It just sounds like Christian to me. Oh, that's right. Maruku did stop by. The counselor? You mean Dr. Maruki? I think so. Dr. Maruki, the counselor. Slur. He said he was studying cognitive science. He's in that field too? You don't think he's connected to the incident with Futaba's mother? Oh no, I didn't get get that vibe from him. He seemed actually interested in cognitive science. It wasn't like he was just using it. You two, you two got talking then? A little. He seemed nice. For a, for a stranger to connect with Futaba is no easy feat. He must have quite a talent for this. I'm not sure talent is the word for it, but yeah, yeah, he's cool. What you want? You want to get him to counsel to counsel to counsel you too? I see no point having my heart pulled by an utter stranger. <laughs> True, man. So I'm curious as to how he managed to neg negate Futaba's usual reticence. I don't know. We just talk normally, but he's such a good listener, right? And we, you ended up talking more than usual. So it's true. He does have some extra don, extra don. See, so he, he does have some extraordinary effect. Surely he must have some greater insight, the better to inspire the inner, innermost truths of the heart. Holy shit! This dude has ESP, ESP to see or perceive. Because was there any way you could arrange for me to meet him? What? Me? You want to meet him that badly? Please, I feel there is something here I must confirm for myself. Well, I can't can't make anything happen easily, but I'll see what I can do. My sincere thanks. I'm looking forward to finally meeting him. Well, hopeful from Hawaii. Huh? Oh, man. Ah, uh, the herbicide is truly a flower of singular beauty. The river color complements the water too. That view. <laughs> Right, too bad Yuji had to ruin the shot. Dude, Gero, a guy can't wear a flower in this hair. It's weird. Huh. I don't know, the guy next to you wears, wears it like a champ. A. Hey. Oh, what more to share? Huh. The heck? The heck is that? It's intense. Not my style, though. You're a mess, too. You're going to be that rude, bro. I'm not lending it to you. Wait, you actually bought that thing? Yeah, for sketching purposes. You're kidding, do you seriously have the cash for that? When I showed them how much money I had, they lowered the price. Truly a land of, a land of generosity. Wow, that's like a max level haggling man maneuver for real man. I wish I would gotten a price cut. It was nothing that I was just to express my passion to them. Language barriers are surprisingly easy to break you as long as you can convey your feelings. I feel a little super, feel like little super far while you're going, nothing matters much. What? Come on. Wait, what? Come on. Hey, hey. If I were to annoy you, something, what's up? Hey. You look out, what if you heard so you should stop for today? Hello guys, the anime player, welcome back to some more Persona 5 Royal. Last time we came back from our trip to Hawaii. That was pretty fun, that was dope. I have, Anyways, I have to go to sleep now. Mm -hmm. We're gone, let's do anything. Actually, sure there's something I want to talk to you about. Never mind, you should probably get some rest. Don't worry, it's nothing important. Sleep. Mask. Dun. 
Hey, sis. You just got back from your trip and you're already studying? How diligent. Like four days. I have souvenirs for you. The principal of Shujin Academy has passed away. Nani? He suddenly stopped while crossing the road and was struck by a large vehicle. Death by external trauma. They say suicide seems to be a strong possibility. Principal Kobayakawa committed suicide? Nah, I don't believe that. Did someone about to kill themselves try to go to the police station? He even used a taxi to get there. Some people think planning. Do you mean this might be another incident? Even if he had a sudden shift in his state of mind, it's still unnatural. I can only suspect that he had a change of heart. Are you saying he was targeted by the Phantom Thieves? But that's impossible! How are you so certain? Well, in prior cases, the changes of heart seem to be done to make people confess their crimes. It's hard to explain, but this incident seems contradictory to their usual modus operandi. <laughs> Did Principal Kobayakawa seem any different to you lately? I don't really know. He rarely contacted the students, after all. I see. Could something have happened during the school trip? Oh, you're studying. I'm sorry to bother you. Makoto? Hmm? N never mind, it's nothing. Just don't get dragged into trouble, okay? <sighs> this is bad. I'd better tell the others. And I wish I got to see, like, how he died. We saw how he died, but, like, what led to a, like, more details about it. First time at school in a while. Is this a new scene? You know, I'm so sleepy. You, you over your jet lag? Not yet. Seriously, so, huh? Same here, dude. Never mind that, though. Did you know about this? The fan things are popular now. But we're surprised when we got back to Japan. People are actually paying attention to who we're going to target next. Ain't that amazing? We get really psyched. This is where we work hard. Let's do something big again. Surprise the world. Good morning. Oh, Kasumi. Yeah, that's definitely a scene. Good morning, King Senpai and Sakamoto Senpai, correct? Oh, morning, you're back today too, huh? Yes, it's good to see you both. Uh, may I join you two on the way to school? Sure. I want to talk a bit more about the trip and I want to hear all of your stories from Hawaii. You got it, should I start with all the heroes stuff me and this you did? Yeah. Did for the people in Hawaii oh too. Yes! Um yes, that sounds great. Mm -hmm. Need official investigation. So things of me. What's happening to a school? We cursed? Who are 81%? This has to be about you know what, right? With the principal. Yep. Wait, they're actually showing us this? I don't think this happened. I don't think this happened in the original. As many of you may already know, Principal Kobayakawa passed away yesterday. And was this the original? Oh no. I wonder if that suicide one was for real. It happened in front of the police station, didn't it? I think I was passing through there at the time. The principal have been working hard to restore peace ever since the incident with Mr. Kobayakawa. Yeah, I think this was in the original. Never mind. Love? Bullshit. Bullshit. He was covering something up. Everyone's been talking about it. Maybe it wasn't suicide. Do you think the phantom thieves took him down? We don't the kill phantom people. Phantom thieves? Do they kill people? I mean, Kamoshida did say he was gonna kill himself to make up for everything he did. That would be amazing. Either way, it serves that principle right. Nah, that's too much. Hell no. We didn't do jack shit. People gonna blame us for this too? I would like to see everyone live up to our late principal's wishes as proud Shujin students. And is this a new principal? <laughs> Back to the future. <laughs> the 
the soundtrack. I had noticed traces of tampering. Does that mean you truly took the data from my laptop? Yep. No matter how I think about it, that would have been impossible unless Makoto was helping you. But she would never do something so foolish. And is it true that you were completely uninvolved with the Kobayakawa case? Yeah, we didn't do shit to him. We don't kill. What does this mean? Someone else. But I suppose targeting someone at Shujin again and actually taking their life would be nonsensical. Will you believe me now? I have no reason to believe everything you've said. However, it seems you aren't the type of person who would lie just to protect themselves. I will acknowledge what I must. It's more efficient that way. Please let Bomber size going deeper. I have to have to let go somewhere in the new side. Thank for all right. In any case, let's move on to the topic at hand. All right, what's up? If you saw my investigation data, you would have had the same suspicions I did about Okumura. And if you looked into his path, right, if you saw my data, Alice, you should have seen the answer to those suspicions. Tell me. What did the Phantom Thieves do to Okumura? What did you learn from him? Why did it turn out as it did? I don't know, spoilers. I need you to tell me everything. Can't say it yet, till we get there. The summary of the store up to one has been updated. I want to open the menu, then select store from under the system option. Before we talk about the data we got from Sis, we need to discuss the incident with the principal. Yeah. People are already talking about it online. Nobody's saying it's because of the Phantom Thieves. So far. People think he did it because that tabloid exposed how he was covering up Kamoshida's abuses. Could it be that we're responsible for Principal Kobayakawa's suicide? No. What do you mean? Nah. If we hadn't changed Kamoshida's heart, maybe this never would have happened. What you mean? He was going too far. But then Kamoshida would have kept doing what he did if we didn't go and take him down. Right? There's a lot of opinions online. It's only natural that he died. Covering up crimes is wrong. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, he was abusing Shido and on. If we didn't step in, he would still be, like, abusing them. The comments I've seen are similar as well. Only the Phantom Thieves are on our side. I wish the Phantom Thieves would take down the police and the politicians of this country. It's not just the news. There's even Phantom Thieves merchandise now. I never expected we'd end up such a big deal. It seems like... The public would rather believe in us than in the adults. People are trying to get the Phantom Thieves to solve societal problems, not just personal ones. This is kind of scary. Yeah, we're too big. You guys wish for this. It's too much for us to, to handle now. <laughs> are we really doing the right thing? I mean, the principal was covering stuff up, right? I guess he got what was coming to him. That's... Whoa, well, guys, let's hmm. get back on topic. Weren't we going to discuss the data we obtained from Nijima? Data. <laughs> you tell them, Inari. Why me? First, Prosecutor Nijima has been looking into the continued cases of people suddenly collapsing. It seems she is searching for a common thread to tie them all together. Some parts seem to be speculation. But she has cited a beneficiary of the majority of these incidents. The corporation Okumura Foods. More prominently, its CEO, Kunikazu. She has said it is a beneficiary of the majority of these incidents. Okumura. Okumura? Hey, he's at the top of the like list. I that name somewhere. From Big Bang Burger. Big Bang Burger? For real? You know, they only got famous sometime in the past few years. They even had a branch in Hawaii. 
It says here they benefited both from scandals and the resignations of their competitors' executives. That would seem to be the case. This is too suspicious, though. Only one CEO is profiting from these seemingly accidental incidents. I see profiting. I think it's natural to suspect he's intentionally causing them. Oh, yeah, maybe. I get that, but still. We have even more evidence than that. Tell them, Futaba. They already tried putting Okumura's name in the NAF. He has a palace for sure. That settles it then. Oh. He's totally our next target. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So, so everyone that's getting mental shutdown, like he's targeting them. And, and the people that are being targeted, it seems kind of suspicious because it's making him look good in his company. That's right. Okumura is at the top of the rankings after all. Hold on. That doesn't necessarily mean he's evil. If we jump into this too carelessly. Beyond that, this phantom thieves fad is unsettling. Yeah. The excitement levels don't feel normal. We might want to let things calm down a bit first. You too, Han? You're just gonna go against what people want? Huh? No, but... For real? L looks like we're not gonna agree today then. Yep, we're all like fighting. Sheesh, some team you are. What's with all the hesitation? I can't stand this. Even you, Ryuji. You just back down the second someone disagrees with you. Damn. What? I guess all you've been talking about is using the Phantom Thieves' name to pick up girls anyway. Oh, damn. Being hyped up because of the popularity is fine. But getting conceited over it is unacceptable. Hey, aren't you acting for your own benefit here too? My appearance might have changed, but I'm still an admirable human. At the very least, I'm more admirable than some carnal blonde monkey. Oh, damn. You little... Fine. I can take on some small-time target like Okumura on my own. Sorry, but it looks like I'll be getting the credit for solving the mental shutdown mystery. Uh-oh. Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Hey, that's inexcusable! Oh, well, we're gonna set the same thing about Ryuji when Makoto came. Is. All right then, bring it on! Ryuji, stop! Looks like I don't belong here after all. No. Well, this is goodbye. Sky into you, Morgana. Uh, Morgana, wait! See you. No, Mor Kitty, Mr. Kitty. <sighs> I bet he's back in no time. Bruh. <sighs> Damn it. Morgana. I'm human. I have to be. <sighs> All right. I've managed by myself before, and I can do it again now. I just need to take down Okumura before those guys do. Oh. Huh? That kitty. But come with strong as all to come with Shida. I can't believe this. The public believes in the justice of the Phantom Thieves. They have no interest in that principle. I'm experiencing equal levels of frustration. My comments on TV turned everyone against me. Then again, I won't allow mere criticism to break my spirit so easily. We won't keep letting ourselves be defeated either. My suspicion after the hacker's case last month is now conviction thanks to the principal's death. The mental shutdown cases and the psychotic breakdowns are surely the Phantom Thieves doing. What? I remember the data you showed me about Okumura Foods. Is that the basis for these beliefs? There have been frequent occurrences of mental shutdowns surrounding Okumura recently. If only there was a clear connection between him and the Phantom Thieves. Well, we're not connected. Well, it would be problematic if there wasn't one. So, you're jumping the gun here. You really told a man you would terminate his parental authority based purely on your speculation? Wait, what? I'm surprised you would say such a thing to the owner of a cafe you frequent. Oh, Sojo. Sojo. 
It's all for the sake of the case. Well, you're wrong, though. You may have the backing of the SIU's director, but you've been far too aggressive, Sai-san. You're trespassing into police territory. Don't say nobody warned you if this becomes an issue later. My superiors told me the same thing. We first need to know what methods the fan... Okay. All right. Some thieves are using. The police can't make a move unless that becomes apparent, after all. This opponent can't be caught by following the rules. What need is there to stick to formalities? So, you wish to ignore protocol in order to reform society? Sometimes you gotta make sacrifices. I hope you realize that's no different than what the Phantom Thieves are doing. It's a shame. Especially since we both want to capture the culprit behind the psychotic breakdowns. Oh my god, really no. Messed up. Yeah. How do you think you could do this by yourself? I hate this palace. Is this really impossible alone? Yeah, I can mute the team. What? I can't see who's there. Master. Hey, it's Haru. 